The Chase Freedom Flex Card and the Discover It Cashback Card often feature PayPal purchases as a category for 5% cashback. In this video tutorial, we'll go over how to link these rotating category cards to your PayPal account so you can earn that 5% back. Feel free to pause the video to read the disclaimer or find the full disclaimer in the video description below. You'll link your accounts using your PayPal account, not your Chase or Discover accounts. First, go to your PayPal account through their app or website. Click on Wallet and click on Add Banks and Cards. You can select Debit and Credit Cards and then pick either Enter Your Card Info or Log into Your Issuing Bank. Let's go with Enter Your Card Info since it can be a bit faster. You'll then enter your credit card information for the card you're adding and once you're done, click Link Card. Next, you can add any other rotating category cards you have by following the same process. The Chase Freedom Flex Card, the original Chase Freedom Card, which is no longer available, and the Discover It Cashback Credit Card all offer those 5% cashback rotating categories, so you can add all three if you have them. Once you've finished adding your cards, you'll need to select your default card. You can return to your wallet and scroll down to the bottom where you'll see Preferences. There are two options here, your preferred card for online purchases and your preferred card for in-person and QR code purchases. First, click on online purchases and select the card you want to use for this quarter. Right now in quarter 4 of 2023, the Chase Freedom Flex card and the original Chase Freedom card are both offering 5% cashback on PayPal purchases. So I'll select the Chase Freedom Flex card and click the Save Preference button to save. You'll now see your credit card information has been updated under Preferences. Now, select in-person and QR code purchases and again select the right card and click the done button to make the change. Make sure you update both the online and in-store default card to ensure you earn that 5% back for any type of PayPal purchase. When PayPal is featured by a different rotating category card in the future, make sure you update your preferences again to the new card you want to select before making any PayPal purchases in that new quarter, again for both settings. Another important step is making sure you also click Activate for both of your cards for the 5% cashback offer on the credit card company's website or app. Just log on to your Discover or Chase account, scroll down to the 5% cashback calendar section, and click the Activate button. Once you've done this, it'll show as activated. Keep in mind, if you miss this step, you will not earn that 5% back. Just as a reminder, when you're checking out online or in-store if available, and the 5% cashbacks being offered for PayPal purchases by one of these cards, remember to use your PayPal account as your payment method, assuming PayPal is accepted, not your Chase or Discover card. If you use those cards directly, you will not earn the 5% back, as you won't be paying with PayPal. Which rotating category cards do you have right now? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you may be interested in this video next, where we go over the 5% cashback categories for these cards for quarter 4, including important exclusions to keep in mind. If you found this video helpful, it'd be a huge help if you could click like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching and see you next time.